shirt. I'm in the studio, man. I uh I'm not too I'm not too thrilled with the election. Um it is what it is. I'm not too thrilled with either candidate. I'm not too thrilled with the system. Um I'm not too thrilled with any of it. I feel like in the past, you believe that your vote mattered. In the past, you believe that there were some good candidates. I felt like in the past, it just looked better. It felt better. It felt more authentic. It felt more real. It felt like policies mattered. It felt like change was coming. It felt like the American dream was alive and well. So just looking at the climate of the world today, looking at the candidates, looking at how they carry themselves, looking at their backgrounds, it just seems as though, it just seems as though it's a shit show, bro. <laughs> It seemed like a shit show to me. I don't really know how else to explain it. I feel like it's a shit show. I feel like it's a shit show, bro. Normally, there's like one good candidate. I feel like it's hard vote for Trump and it's hard vote for Kamala. There's no clear winner. There's no clear winner. And I feel like if you look at Trump's last presidency, you really got to look at his policies and look at what he tried to undo. All I'm thinking about is Looking at the two candidates like humans, I feel like people not looking at these candidates in an unbiased way. I feel like people are gaslighting themselves this election, bro. It's it's a cra it's crazy. It's like people are gaslighting themselves with this election. It just, it seems like people are gaslighting themselves for the system. I don't know. It's, it's weird, bro. It's weird. And I'm looking at this through a lens where I'm observing everything. I'm not biased about anything. I'm not biased about anything. But one thing I will say is I can look at something and see the good and the bad. And I feel like today, when it comes to the election, and when it comes to the candidates, people aren't looking at the good, at the bad. They're looking at this person, and it's all good, and this person's all bad, or they're looking at this person like all good, and this person all bad. And it, it just sounds cultish. <laughs> It sounds cultish. It looks cultish. Yeah. It seems like when scripture said they'll be willingly ignorant, it seems like that. It seems like willing ignorance. So I just wanted to call it out. But I don't know, man. I can't see how people can look at Trump like he can do all good and no bad. And I can't see how people can look at Kamala 
Like, she can do all good and no bad. On the other end, I feel like they're setting this election up for Trump. And I I think Trump is funny. He's cool. He got swagger. But this blind loyalty to Trump is kind of it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. I don't put anybody on a pedestal. I don't feel like anybody's perfect. If I am following somebody, or not say following, but if I'm supporting somebody, it's not going to be a blind trust and a blind support where I feel like this person could do no wrong. I don't do that. I'm going to look at what they can do good, but while observing them, I'm also going to be able to see their flaws and weaknesses. So, you know, that's pretty much it, man. I just, This election, man, this election. This election feels weird, bro. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it feels weird. It feels odd. Like a shift is coming with the election. The shift is already here, but I feel like uh, it's a lot to put into words, man. I'm looking at people's mindset. I feel like voting is not even the same. Remember like 10, 15 years ago where like if you didn't vote, you was looked at as an idiot? Or like if you didn't vote Democrat or Republican, you was looked at as crazy? Don't forget like 10, 15 years ago, even 20 years ago, if you didn't vote, you would look at like like kind of crazy, bro. Them boomers was voting, bro. Boomers be voting. Boomers vote, like for sure, for sure. Boomers vote. And if you didn't vote, they will they will look at you crazy. But now I feel like. The system's so rigged, it don't even matter if you vote. That's how I look at it. Whatever they want to happen is going to happen. And your vote isn't going to stop it. <laughs> your vote, our vote isn't going to change anything. I, I feel like that now, bro. I feel like that. Like, we just vote for fun. <laughs> you think they're going to be like, oh, man, we want to put this person in office, but they got less votes. Darn it. No. The plan got to get carried out, whatever the plan is. So. Yeah. Yeah, man. This blind faith, this blind trust. I don't get it. Not a fan. Not my cup of tea. I'm not judging, but I'm not finna blindly endorse either candidate. I'm not judging anybody who does, but I am looking like, yo, what's on your mind? What you thinking? Like, how can you blindly endorse these people? It's not like they even blindly endorsing solid people. Trump and screw people over. Kamala. Help screw people over. They both been had a hand in screwing people over. So why would we just blindly trust these people? Like they could do no wrong. Y'all are so excited to vote for these people. And y'all ain't learned from COVID. These people will get you up out of here. <laughs> like the mindset, bro. I, I don't know, bro. I don't know. 